where incumbent Francis Suarez has cruised to victory in his re-election bid for mayor. Suarez winning 79% of the vote. And voters also giving Miami City Commissioner Joe Carollo another four years in office. The two-time former mayor winning 65% of the vote. And Local 10's Roy Ramos continues our live team coverage from Miami. And Roy, Commissioner Joe Carollo has a long political history with Miami, so tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, Nicole, if you've lived in South Florida, you know the name Joe Carroyo. He's been in public service for the past 18 years and actually served as City of Miami mayor twice. But up for grabs this evening was his seat for District 3, a seat that he won again with nearly 65% of the vote, something that he said he did not expect. Also up for grabs was the uh, re-election for City of Miami mayor. As you mentioned, Mayor Francis Suarez winning that with nearly 80% of the vote. Thank you, Miami. A show of gratitude from current and newly re-elected City of Miami Mayor Francis Suarez. Carrying more than 20,000 votes to keep his seat with nearly 80% of the vote, he took the stage at the Wharf Miami, prepared to serve another four years. We're not going to leave anybody behind. We're going to take care of everyone. We're going to do everything that we can as a government, and I'm going to do everything I can as a leader to make life better for people. His focus, keeping taxes low, eliminating homelessness, and keeping residents safe by investing in the police force. His message to those who didn't vote for him. I'm going to work hard to regain their confidence, and I feel so humbled by the support of, of my bosses uh, to bring me back uh, to do the job that I've been doing for four years. Not far from the Suarez watch party, Commissioner Joe Carroyo gathered with family and supporters at Old Havana's Cuban restaurant in Little Havana. While he faced three opponents in the race for the District 3 seat, his margin of a win far surpassed those who ran against him. I never expected uh, that we were going to win with 65% of the vote. While many said he was unpopular outside of his district and the Miami Herald's editorial board said he was unfit to serve again, it would not be enough to unseat him. So I would have not won by as much if they would have supported me. Commissioner Carroyo has recently made headlines for his push to oust Art Acevedo, Miami's former police chief, who was ultimately fired. But he said his focus now is jobs, expanding the metro mover and low income housing. Well, I've come up with a new concept that I've launched that we're going to start building next year that are low income housing to own. And also up for grabs was a seat for District 5, currently being held by Jeffrey Watson. You may remember he was appointed to that position. Well, he was unseated this evening by Christine King. She's an attorney. Here in the city of Miami, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News. Okay, once again, Miami's District 5 has a new city commissioner, incumbent Commissioner Jeffrey Watson, getting trounced by challenger Christine King. Here, King had 65% of the vote to Watson's 16%.